Okay, just a side note of everything. I got a comment last week. I guess I was um, just sitting there, you know. And this has a lot to explain myself too. Um, were my my hater video? Some guy was like, "No offense or anything. Are you a redneck?" I just 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 go to it and just visit it and and you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, to be honest, there's a little redneck in me, you know. Of course, I don't mind. Like I said, I don't like doing hard work. I don't mind building. I've done I've done farm work. I don't mind it. Um, I have land that I have to take care of and everything. But I mean, just the way I grew up, you know, I grew up with that. But then again, I do not like country music. I absolutely hate country music, folk. No. I I just I just disagree with it, you know. But uh, I can do the redneck things, but I hate country music. That's gonna make sense in a minute. Um, I like to hunt, I like to fish, I have killed, well I've only killed one deer, because I've, I've got busy, you know, and I haven't had much time to do anything over the years, it's, everything's just been constant going and going, uh, squirrels, turkey, snakes, uh, doves, uh, I like to go coyote hunting, I've never been but I want to. Um, what else is around here? Pretty much nothing. It's, it's it's pretty basic around here. It's not no big game, but we have some pretty good deer around here. You just gotta know where to go. But, uh, I like to do a little, little redneck things, you know, like four-wheeling. Of course, I like to race four-wheelers. I like to climb hills and all that stuff. Uh, my style in general is, I don't know, I really don't have a style, I just know what I like. Like your shirt right here, see, it's gold and everything. I've got a, I've got eight tattoos, of course, I'm, I, you know, I'm always wearing a shirt that says gun. Right I don't care what it says, you know, it's just a hat, it, it doesn't really mean anything, of course my cousin got this for me because of a inside joke, and um, my, I think my style is unique, you know, I'm not redneck, I'm not a heavy metal, well I am a heavy metal person, and uh, I love metal, it, it just, there's something about it it don't matter how hot well it does depend how hard it is I can handle some scream what is that called screamo I can handle some of it um, some trip hop of course that's a wholly different situation uh, cannibal corpse acid bath five finger death punch otep cradle of filth shit you know shit like that that I can really handle and I have found and uh I've got CDs that I just have to pop in and just listen to it. <sighs> yeah, it's been a long day. Um, yeah. Um, oh, what else? I'm not really... I'm not really that asshole as I put on to be. I can be an asshole when I have to be. You know... Like, um, take an example for today. My grandmother, I just got through doing this like, I don't know, about an hour ago. I don't mind doing this. I don't mind helping people. I mean, if they need help, I'll help, you know. But if they don't need help and they just want to just to be aggravated or aggravating, that causes a problem. But in the situation where my grandparents are not able to do much, I took her to the store, helped her with a few things, because she can't do much lifting, and uh, helped put everything in the house, get everything situated. Then my grandfather 
I had to uh, help him walk. He's got a walker he has to walk around the house with. And uh, we walked from the house to almost to the mailbox, and that's a good, uh, give or take 30 feet, you know. And I think he's in um, late 70s, I do believe. And um, he's he's had problems with, with his legs for a while, so we try to get him out when the weather's nice, where it's not too hot and not too, not too cold. And about this time, it's starting to get it, damn it, starting to get cold. Excuse me. Um, starting to get cold and everything, and. If it's if it's cold, it, it's hard on his bones. You know, if it's hot, he can't breathe. So you've got to find a mixture of all the in betweens. So let's see where we're. Hold on. Okay, we got a little over seven and a half minutes. We're good. But uh, like I said, the reason we'll, we'll just get off and we're just gonna jump from here to here to here. So you're like, oh, fuck, this guy is fucking boring. Get on with the show, you know. But, uh, don't want to say but, uh, um, but. Everything happens for a reason, and this is why, who I am. I mean, and where, where I'm at now, we're going to jump off way off topic. And where I'm at now, I'm on my property, my land. And whatever, and I want to um, eventually start my own business. I'm not saying what it is. I know one or two of you know, maybe. It's about two or three that know. So if you watch this, don't say nothing because I'll, I'll eventually tell everyone. I know I keep on saying that. But I'm not finished, and I want everything to be right. And when everything goes right, I'll uh, I'll make a video about it, a small video about it, and uh, I have 45 seconds, maybe 20. You know, I don't want this to burst out just yet. Yes, it's a legal business. It's not illegal, so everything's fine. <laughs> I just want to do this right. Oh, here's the kicker. Remember where I said I quit school? Okay. I'm starting my own business. Yeah. Very odd, ain't it? You remember I quit school? You remember when I hit them books? Yeah. You remember when I discovered the internet? Yeah. Through, through those years when I quit school until now, I've done the research. Papers legal documents, terms and conditions, law and everything. Now when I was in school they didn't teach you jack shit about anything. Except in middle school they did. High school they didn't give a damn. The only reason why they gave a damn to some is because if you don't play sports, if you're not a cheerleader, or if you don't suck their dick or rub their ass the right way, you don't mean nothing to them. You know? And that that is the truth. If, if you don't have money, or if you're not in, if you're not in a popular clique, you ain't nothing. So that's why I I quit and uh, went on to uh, better things. Now that's not saying you take this advice, you quit, and you do what I'm doing. No, no. What I'm doing took is taking me seven years to accomplish. That, fuck, that's college. That's a good degree. That's a great degree of $120,000 a year plus. Depends what field, of course. But, and also the way I am, and what has become of my life, I think all the time. All that reading, all that research has intrigued my mind to reboot itself, then reinvent itself into a whole new system. So I've counteracted and rewired my own brain. 
just by teaching myself. Yes, I taught myself most of what I know. Uh, I learned how to write better, put words together, and uh, to make more sense while staying in the layman's terms. But then again, I catch myself going beyond layman's terms and getting very critical of how I explain things. Some of you know, maybe. If you know, leave me a message. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, it's great. So that's my life for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.